they decided it was time to teach Nelso a lesson he would never forget. The man who pees on his body. Once upon a time, in the quiet village of Nwa, lived a man named Nonso. Nonso was known for drinking too much palm wine. When he was drunk, he would say mean things and hurtful things to people, especially to women. The villagers whispered about his bad behaviors, but no one could stop him. Nonso would visit the palm wine tapper every morning and by nightfall he would be staggering through the village shouting at everyone who crossed his path. The women of Owa feared him and the men shook their heads in disappointment. Nonso's family was ashamed but they didn't know what to do to help him. One evening, a young maiden named Nkechi was walking home from the river. She was carrying a pot of water on her head and humming a sweet song. Nkechi was known for her gentle heart and kindness. She helped families with chores and always had smiles for everyone. But that night, her smile faded when she saw Nonso stumbling towards her. Nonso, drunk as usual, saw Nkechi and decided to bother her. He began to say mean things to her, calling her names and mocking her. Do you think you are walking so proud without your pot of water? You think you are better than everyone, don't you? Nonso sneered. Nkechi tried to ignore him and walked away, but Nonso kept shouting his cruel words. His voice grew louder and more hurtful. You are such a foolish girl. No one cares about you, he yelled. Nkechi's heart ached with each word. She felt tears rolling down her eyes. She couldn't take it anymore. Her cries were so powerful that it reached the ears of the gods. The gods who had been watching Nonso's bad behavior for a long time were very angry at what he had done to Nkechi. They decided it was time to teach Nelson a lesson he would never forget. Suddenly, Nelson felt a strange sensation in his body. He looked down and saw that he could no longer control himself. He started to pee uncontrollably. The warm liquid ran down his legs and no matter what he did, the pee would not stop. He tried to hide behind a tree. But the people of the Uwa saw what was happening and laughed at him. Look, it's not so. They shouted and laughed. The man who pees on his body. Nonso was embarrassed. He begged for forgiveness. But the gods had made up their minds. From that day on, Nonso could not stop peeing. He walked through the village with wet clothes and bowed head. Too ashamed to meet anybody's eyes, he learned his lessons the hard way and never said hurtful things to anyone again. Nkechi, on the other hand, was safe and healed of her wounded heart. She continued to be kind and helpful. The village of Owa returned in peace and the people always remembered the story of Nonso, the man who pees on his body. They taught their children to always be kind 
and never to hurt anyone with their word. Do you know that Xango is the god of thunder in Africa? He is very powerful and can use lightning and thunder to punish people who do bad things. If someone steals something, Sango can strike them down with lightning and put the stolen item on their chest. People in Africa believe Sango is the most powerful god and he is known all over the world. Sango protects people, makes sure everyone follows the rules and gets revenge on those who do wrong. His symbol is a double-edged axe and when you hear a thunderstorm, it means Sango is near. Thanks for watching. Love from the classic stories.